Hey guys, we finished up our register form in the last video. And now the next step is once we create a user, we'd like to be able to log in. So we're gonna be creating the login form today. Now we use just local state and doing set state to kind of update the uh, state for register. We kept it here and uh, as the user typed and as we got errors, we called set state to change things and that's how we basically built this whole component. And now we could do this the exact same way for our login component as well, we could use it. But I thought it'd be more interesting if we change it up and we have one component using this and a different component doing it in a different way. So you can kind of compare, uh, we can see performance wise which one's doing better um, and kind of just give you like a little comparison of between the two. So we're going to be creating a login component today. So let's call it login.js. And for this login component, we are going to be using MobX. So this is a basically alternative to using Redux. It is a state manager, and we're going to use it to basically store the state of our login form. So we're going to be using installing the MobX package and also MobX React. This is what allows us to actually use React components. So I'm going to come over here and say yarn add mobx and mobx react and install the two libraries and then we can dive right into this. So I'm going to import react from react and then we're going to be importing observable from, oops not observable, observe, oops, observer from mobx, oops sorry, mobx react and then importing extend observable observable from mobx so we're going to export default a class here and the class is going to be an observer and we're going to say class and I'm going to call it login extends react.component and then we create a regular component here but we're gonna have a constructor where we kind of just initialize the state. And here, instead of saying, for example, this.state, we're gonna say extend observable, passing in this, and then whatever state we wanna use. So for this, we're gonna have not a username, but a email and a password. And the default state for those are just empty strings. So you see me just doing empty strings there. Okay. So then here, we're gonna return, and we would like to do a form kind of similar to register. So I can come over here and I can copy this if I want to. And we will change kind of what the inside of it looks like. And I'm gonna copy this. So for now, we're not gonna worry about any messages. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, but the rest of it, we're gonna use. So don't worry about errors. It's gonna be a login page. We don't need the username um, value. So instead of email, it's gonna be this dot email. And what I can do is I can say const email and password are equal to this. So you'll notice we'll be doing, in the other one, we did something that looked like this. Instead, our state is just stored in the this object. So we can grab it like this. So our input here, we're gonna keep the name email because in our on change function, we're gonna use that still. The value is gonna get email, which we get from here. Placeholder email is good. And then for our password, same business. This is gonna be the password we get here now. Um, we still want the type password. And then for our button, worry about creating a message later. And then our on submit. So let's create our on change and our on submit. So on change is going to be an event. And what we're going to do is change the value in our state, right? So when on change is given to us, we know that which one we want to change, email or password based on the name. And the cool thing about MobX is you pretty much just set the new value you don't have to do anything functional or return new value, you can just mutate the state. So I can just say email is equal to Bob and it'll just work. I don't need to do anything else. 
but we want to make this work for both inputs so what we're going to be doing is grabbing similar to last time the name and value from e.target and then we're going to set this and we're going to grab the name is equal to the value and then for our cement all we have to do is, I think I call it on submit yep on submit and we will this will be empty we'll console.log this dot we can grab the email and password and see what the values are to make sure they're actually getting updated. So email and password. All right, so, okay, cool. I already have this up and running, the server, so I don't need to start it up. We can go check out our login component and uh, see in action. So I'm gonna come over here to this index page and just add a route so we can actually see the component. So I'm gonna do it slash login. And let's go check this guy out. Okay, no errors. Load our login component. And we see email password. I type the letters. I can see them. Type them here. We hit submit. And we see this here. So we made the exact same form using MobX. Um, but it looks a lot different, right? Or at least, it doesn't look a ton different, but you'll notice there's a few key ones. Instead of grabbing from the state, this this thing is acting like our state. And we're able to just change the value. We don't have to set a new value. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then here's how we set our initial state. And then we just grab the values and they're automatically updated for us, um, which is really cool. One other thing I don't think I've talked about yet, you'll notice I write my functions like this for on submit and on change, but yet my render function is like this. How come I'm not writing on change e like that? Well, the reason for that is render and the constructor automatically have access to this this object but if I have a function like this that are not like react doesn't know about on submit or on change but it knows about constructor and render because every react component is pretty much going to have one um, constructor not so much like you can have it or you don't have to have it but it automatically has this whereas on change does not so if I write my function like this on change, like I'll show you real quick. If I change this to that, what we're actually gonna get is an error. And it's gonna tell us this is not defined. So let's just console log this. And we can see what the value of it is. So type and bam, we see this big error. Um, actually we're able to see um, this. Uh, I'm surprised. I was thinking that this you would not even be able to see right here. Maybe because it is an observable or an observer that we're able to, but either way, we still get an error. It doesn't like it. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to basically bind this with this. So, one way to do it is to say up here is this dot on change is equal to this dot on change and then pass in oops and call bind so it binds it with this and now it has access to it um, and now we see no error all good so we're basically giving this function access to this but the other way you can do it which I prefer because it's less typing is just to write it out like this. So now we have our function and it's just like a little lambda basically. So that is it for this video guys. We set up our uh, login component. The next thing I want to do in the video is in tomorrow's we're going to actually connect to our server and uh, submit a login 
and then do some authentication on that side. So check whether the email and the password is correct. So the code for this is up on GitHub and I'll see you guys tomorrow.